um, thing, it won't be the same. Yes. Good? You are frozen for a hot sec. I don't know what happened there, but I'm <laughs> okay, here now. All right. Looks so like, all technical difficulties out the way, yeah? Yes, yes. yes. No problems. No problems. I mean, hope so. All right. Welcome, welcome, everyone. You're now locked into another episode of The Centre Podcast, hosted by your truly, Milan Sophia and Tiwa Lola. We are back with you. To this episode is a little bit different. We have a special guest host. Some of you might not know, some of you might know, some of you might even know from the song, Who's the Birthday Girl? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite. <laughs> when I found out wow. you were the one that sang it, I was like, "Yeah, cool." But yeah, he's, he's Instagram comedian, influencer, TV actor, TV stage actor, anything. You basically trifecta out here. He yeah? does it all. He does it all. Everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna let him introduce you. Introduce himself a little bit. I've tried to do my little hype bit, but I can't do. Nah, that was very good, man. Are you I've sure? Never been, I've never been introduced like that. The they like us now. They like us we now. Try, we're trying to make you, you know, feel important and everything, obviously. <laughs> trying to hype you up a little bit, trying to get you ready. But yeah, so I'm Tom Ritchie, guys. Yeah, go on. I said, I said, hi, I'm Tom Ritchie. Lovely being here today. Very nice of our you guys first, to have me. Yeah, for our first guest host. We're very um, lucky to have you. Thank you very much for coming on and agreeing to come on with us. Very appreciated. Yeah, yeah. As um, very, very did, did Tiwa tell you how this happened? <laughs> she did. <laughs> she mentioned it to me. She's like, she's telling me how it just happened at random, random. Basically, you know, I was sitting. I was going for a facial, and then I just sat in the car. The lady was late. Maybe it was a good fit. So I'm sitting there now, and I'm just like, okay, cool. He's come out the car, and I was like, I know this guy from somewhere, free stop fit. I don't know, it's not different. As I, I've asked his driver, his driver was like, I'm just a driver, I'm just a driver. I'm like, I'm thinking, what kind of useless man could this man be? All I needed was a name, because it completely slipped my head. I couldn't put two and two together. And I was like, his face looks so familiar. And then I'm asking the driver, the driver's like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just driver, I just take it wherever he wants to go. I'm just like, okay. So he's come out. <laughs> driver. Like, I'm, driver. I'm got, listen, he came That's out nice. and I said, I've got nothing to lose. Might as well ask him. And then I asked him, and I was like, I DM him. At first, yeah, when he said, yeah, I think oh, he's probably just saying yes to be nice. I didn't think he'd actually reply. <laughs> and then when he replied, I was like, oh, okay, we can make something work. And then, yeah, that's how we got him. From... From my perspective, so um, I was filming a drama. So they they come and they get a driver to pick you up. So you're not late to work. They never let actors okay. make their own way into work. Like that. But, that's that's <coughs> different already. That's different. No, nah, it's not even different. It's it's just part and parcel, isn't it? It's just what happens. But no, for you. so I left and I was I was on my way to work. I was like. 10 minutes down the road and then there's a particular prop that my my character has that I brought from home mm. and then I okay. thought I'd left it at work so I messaged them hey are my grill still in my trailer or have I have I got it and they told me oh we don't have it so I had to spin back so I'm rushing and I get up I, I go up I come back down and then I just see like uh, someone in the car, and they're like, hey, hey, excuse me, is your name Tommy? <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah, my name's Tom, what's going on? <laughs> and she's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to DM you, uh, I've, I've run a podcast. I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, cool, no problem. For I'm me, <laughs> for me, if I didn't spin back, you would have never saw me ever in life. No, I literally, yeah. And I always, I'm my ox god in the car is like, hmm. Because I get this stuff all the time. I, I mm-hmm. get like, people yeah. always ask me to come on their things or um, help them out or, you know, build their um, their numbers and stuff. And I, I have a hard time thinking it's genuine because yeah. it's like, you just, you like, yeah, it's just because you want to get someone that's kind of known. I get it. I get how that works, but then for me, I couldn't deny the fact that look, you went out of your own skin to like 
to ask because I, I wouldn't do that. Me, when I see people that I'm walking away, like the, I don't know if it's a UK thing where we we don't want to be begged. Yeah. Or we yes. don't want to. Yeah. I yeah. get that. I actually get that. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to so, feel like you're begging for someone's attention. Yeah. Someone's yeah. You know what it is? I thought about it twice. It was the fact that the driver caught, I was like, okay, I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to ask the driver. And then the driver was just like, I was like, I'm going to have to ask him. At this point, I'm going to have to ask him. <laughs> I rated that, man. I really rated that. And I just thought, yeah, God, man, she wouldn't have seen me if I didn't forget my girls. So maybe it's like fate or maybe it's serendipity or whatever you want to call it. I'll, I'll, whatever she wants, like, I'll get involved. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we appreciate it. That's a funny story, though, because T1, <laughs> she's not really the type of person to be out there speaking to anyone. So I have her to just come up to you and just be like, yeah, yeah, we need you, we need you. <laughs> That's sick. Well, that's fun, though. It worked out. But, yeah, we're going to start with the fun facts and a riddle. So. Yeah, so I, I'm going to assume that... Yeah, no, I, I'm going to assume that you're a diehard or listen to the podcast. Don't, yeah, don't even thing. tell me anything. <laughs> so we're, we're, you probably already know that we already do a little fun fact and a riddle at the beginning of each episode. Oh, yeah, of course. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? yeah, easy. So <laughs> if you have a fun fact or a riddle, you can always chime in and give me a fun fact. Or really that you you may not have a uh, fun fact about me. Yeah, go ahead. Can me anything. Um, a fun fact about me is that French is my first language. That's my Ooh, mother so tongue. From I, I'm from Ivory Coast, and that's nice. A riddle, huh? What did you say? I said that's nice. <laughs> where's Ivory Coast? Do you even know? Where's Ivory Coast? In Africa. Yeah, where? <laughs> it's probably around. Probably. Like the south or is it southwest? Is it southwest? Oh! I'm sure it's west. Is it not southwest? Southwest Africa. <laughs> is it not? Where is it then? The whole of South Africa is South Africa. What the hell is Southwest Africa, fam? No, as in there's north, east, south, and not southwest, south, south um, east. east, east, <laughs> east. No, listen, the whole listen. Of south Africa listen, is look, south no, you got this. Now listen. Now listen, that's you got this. West you got Africa. the north, you got the no, North that's... Africa, West Africa, South Africa, and East Africa. I yes. yes. every person down here. Oh my god. Do you know what? I don't West know which Africa. one's harder to believe. The fact that there's an Africa and then there's a Jesus cross and then you're getting the countries wrong <laughs> while you're showing Africa and Jesus. Do you know how terrible what you just said is? Okay, cool. Where's, East, where, where's the Ivory Coast then? Ivory Coast is, is in West Africa. West Africa. It's next to Ghana. It's right What's next it? to Ghana. Listen, it's trying to listen. help you. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Ghana, Ghana's what I said. the Gold Coast. What called the Ivory Coast? Because we're literally on the coast. But yeah, that is the one for the books. Southwest Africa. <laughs> no, but there is such thing as Southwest Africa. Google Southwest there's, Africa. Tell me what comes up. There's South, there's Southwest, no, no, no. there's West, there's Northwest. No, no, don't worry. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it right now. Southwest Africa. In Southwest West Africa. South, the, South, Southern Africa, southernmost region of the African Union. Nobody says that. Yeah, Nobody but says. Yeah, but it's still in the compass. It's still All there. Right. You said you said something that nobody says, and then you put Ivory <laughs> Coast in that place, which is nowhere even near. Where are you from? All right. Do you know? Do you know where Cape Verde is? Cape Verde. Do you know where Cape Verde is? Yeah, I know Cape Verde. Where is it? I don't know exactly where it is, which I can admit to. <laughs> well, I try, but I tried to say it. I know, it, I know, every cross is in Africa, but I didn't exactly know whereabouts it was. At least I tried. I know you guys speak Portuguese. Yeah, Creole. That's all I know. I don't know exactly where it is on the map. Where is it? I take it. It's off the west coast of Africa. So it's like, is that? Are you sure? I don't know if I should take your word for it because. <laughs> It might be southwest or southeast or anywhere. No, it's literally off the like you see, you know where Senegal is? Yeah, I know where Senegal is. Yeah, so if you just go out into the sea, you find Cabin. If I just go out into the <laughs> sea, 
<laughs> yeah, just go in the straight line. And you, you want me in the straight, straight line, line towards in the sea. That's it. You land it. <laughs> you cannot come and kill me on my days. Just keep going until you find the island. Oh, okay. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know oh what? You'll be surprised how much people don't know where things are on the planet. Even me, like, there's places I'm like, I have no idea where that is. I've heard of it, but I'll tell you where. Where? What, Cape Verde? No, I've been... No, I'm saying, what, you you said before? Is that what you said, where you you don't know where it is? No, he's saying, like, in general, like, people, you'd be surprised how many people don't know where places are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, like, 196 countries in, in the world, like, for you to know every single place. All right, let's just do a check. Tiwa, you know where Nigeria is, right? <laughs> just just so I know we're on the same page. Yes, yes, yes. Where is it? West Africa. Okay. Just, you have to ask nowadays. I'm going to find out where my own country is. Ah. Revelations are, are, are revealing today, bro. Blame me, to be honest. With the way she spoke to that, I don't blame you for asking. I don't think. <laughs> First of all, I tried. Yeah, don't do that. Don't try from the best anymore. I tried. I, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. God, do you have? Or should I? Should I tell you my riddle then? Go on. Yeah, go on. What goes down but doesn't come up? Your age. Uh... Your age. Your age goes down. I, I read. I heard it the other way around. What's going on today? Ooh. I heard you it the other way around. Ivory Coast is in Southwest it. Africa. Cape Verde is straight towards the sea from Senegal. <laughs> Your age goes down, but it doesn't come up. In my head, I heard what? that one never comes down. Oh no! No, hold on, hold on. This this is going left. This is going left. Let's bring this back. <laughs> Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Go again. Repeat your riddle, so, again, please. <laughs> okay, okay. What goes down but doesn't come up? What goes down but doesn't come up? That's that's a. Oh. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You give up? Yeah, go on. No, wait. What goes down but never comes up? I already said the answer. It's a candle. Oh, I was, oh. I was, no, hold no, on. No, you were not going to say that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hold on, hold on. Don't do that. Hold on. No, no way. You were never going to say that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I you was not going to say that. I promise you. All right, cool. I'm going to say another one. As God is my witness. As no, no, no. no. Please witness. don't call Jehovah here. No. <laughs> don't call Jehovah for your Southwest, your Southwest issues. Your <laughs> South African, South, Af- South African issues, bro. Let me give you another one so that you can't cheat. No, hold on, hold on. to say you were going to say it. No, hold on, okay. wait. No, but as God is my witness, I, I was literally thinking candle. But go on, All right, go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mary has a father. He has four yeah. children. Tiwa, Alex and John. Who's the fourth child? Mary. You've all heard that before, man. <laughs> You know, I know you've heard it before. I was, I was letting you. I was, yeah. I was, I was, I was just like, oh, here we go. The minute I said Mary has a father, Tila went, hmm. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's heard it before. You made yourself bait. I think it is one of them. I just thought it was one of them. Yeah, we've all heard that one. Well, I don't know. But yeah. Go I don't know if I want to give you guys another one because. It might go left, and you guys might embarrass yourselves. You, you Tiwa, listen, yeah. I expect, I expected so much from you. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, yeah. When it comes to riddle, she takes that one. I'm fifty fifty. She's quite good. My riddles are. She's big. quite good. She, she, she is. She is. No, I was gonna say candle. I was gonna say candle because my thought process that. was what what goes down but never goes up. When you light a candle, it always goes down. Like in my head before right, you, you know said it, you, I was thinking. You know what? You're talking crud. I'm gonna give you another one. You're talking crap. Right, give me one. I'm gonna let me find you a riddle as well. No, 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 no. Yeah, let me give him one of my no, no, no. ones. You know he's not gonna get it. No. Are you ready? Yeah. Go on. Yeah, go on. What is the what is the devil? more evil than the devil? 
Um, yeah. Huh? Yeah, go on. More evil than the devil. Don't be Googling it. Don't be typing and Googling it in, you know. <laughs> More evil than the devil. Um, poor people have it. Rich people don't need it. Um, it's it's more powerful than God. Yeah. What is more evil than the devil? More powerful than God. Poor people have it. Rich people don't need it. Poor people have it. Rich people. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a guess in, but that's that's one guess. Yeah. I think you googled it, it, but yeah, go on. Is it money? No. It's more evil than the devil. Yeah. Poor no, people Mills have is definitely it, typing something in. She's not even focusing on the camera, bro. <laughs> I promise you. I pro- no, I'm thinking. It's a thought process. It's a thought think, process. Think, I put my hand up here. I put my hand think, up here. Think, <laughs> think to me. Think to me. <laughs> okay. The devil is more evil than the devil. Poor people have it, rich people don't need it, and it's more powerful than God. Oof, it's no. more powerful. But than that's what money as well. I'm not gonna lie. So that's rich so I mean if you want to give people. up, that's okay. I'll just tell you the No, answer. wait, 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 wait. Wait. It's more powerful than God. Ah, what can be more powerful than God? That's the question that come across my word. <laughs> Ain't nothing more powerful than him, but <laughs> Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, no, go on. I don't know it. Well, uh, Tiwa just said the answer, but she didn't know. She didn't submit it. I, I had a feeling, but... What was it? Submit? I said time. Rich, that's, I rich said people time. don't need oh. nothing. Poor people have nothing. The nothing money. is more evil than the devil. Oh. Nothing is more the powerful than said God. Money. The next thing in my head was time. And that's what... I, Time? Oh, no, but it's not time. It's nothing. It's nothing. The word is nothing. Yeah, you even said a ghetto nothing, version. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what, when I said, who could, what could be more powerful than God? Nothing. nothing. Yeah. Uh, All right, go on. All right, well done. All right, you caught me there. <laughs> and you're supposed to be the... Go on, Tiwa. Uh, say your riddle. The champ. You don't want to give your facts. Give it to me. My riddle is a bit... No, say a riddle, say a riddle. <laughs> Should I go from the first one, yeah? Kind of first episode. That's the kind of riddle I got today. I don't have nothing short. It's a bit long, but it's a bit... Uh, that's fine, that's fine. You have to pay attention, yeah? And get your head out of the gutter. I'm just going to give you the, that one in quickly. Yeah. <laughs> what gets longer if pulled? Fit snugly between the breast, slide neatly into a hole, chokes people when used incorrectly, and works well when jerked. Water. No. Can you say it one more time? A bit slower. Okay. What gets? <laughs> you got her laughing at you. Not the confidence. Not the confidence. <laughs> All right. Cool. What gets longer if pulled? Fits snugly between breasts. Slides neatly into a hole. Chokes people when used incorrectly, and works when well when jerked. Chicken. <laughs> what chicken do you put between your breast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say bra because it's too obvious. It's not bra either. You really said chicken. Oh gosh. That's a good one though. And chokes people. When used incorrectly. So an elastic band. Nah. A chain. Nah. Earring. I want to know what your thought Re- process is with all this is. Because <laughs> <laughs> at this point, he's just shining anything. It's not earring. No. No. A string. No. Give up. Okay, I give up. I give up. Man, you know what it is. No, I wasn't really thinking about it. I can't know. A seatbelt. 
Oh, I allow it, man. <laughs> allow it, bro. What's the thing about breast, bro? That was so like. I told you to get your mind out the gutter. Man up. I told you. To, did I not say it before? I said, get your mind out of the gutter before I start the riddle. Yeah, she gave yeah, me. She gave you a warning. I did. That's a bug still. Fun fact, Melina. Oh, uh, my little fun fact. This is just a small one. Is that your nostrils work one at a time? So when you breathe, you don't breathe through both nostrils, only one at a time. You know, I just tried it. <laughs> I was like... Is it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, just just it. It. I, mean... <laughs> I think this one is the one that blows up. Oh, that's nuts. Yeah, one I mean... at a time. One oh, I didn't know it was fun other. facts like that. I thought it was fun facts about, like... Yeah. Um, oh, you look ruined it for me. Now, now I look like some egotistical guy that just wanted to say we, a fun I, fact I, about I, myself. I said a fun fact. <laughs> All right, um, see you what go, and then I'll give a real fun fact. Then, no, after. that's it. I do the riddle, she does the fun facts. Wow, okay, yeah. cool, no problem. <laughs> yeah, they're lagging, but both yeah, of you are so fine. as we've done that, no, she's lagging. Mm-hmm. I'm good with you, she's lagging. Both of you are what? Wow, any Wi Fi there in South <laughs> Bro, West? You're lagging on my computer. <laughs> But we're both fine. It's just you. Stay dead. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you're, you got, you're lagging on my computer. You know what's funny? Yeah? Well, of course we're lagging on your Not computer. computer. Exactly. That Senegalese <laughs> towards the sea computer. Do you know what's funny? Yeah? You talk and then your actions is after. So your mouth moves but nothing's coming up. <laughs> is it? Is it? Uh, is, this, is this Virgin Media wife? <laughs> Well, you are lagging on my computer. But we're both fine. It's just you. Stay dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're you got you're lagging on my computer. You know what's funny? Yeah? Well, of course we're lagging on your you're computer. computer. Exactly. That Senegalese <laughs> towards the sea computer. Do you know what's funny? Yeah, you talk and then your actions is after, so your mouth moves but nothing's coming up. <laughs> is it? Is it? Uh, is this is this Virgin Media wife? Because <laughs> we're both wow. fine. Like, I'm in sync and everything. You might as well go to your date, son. At this point, ah, uh, listen, you might as well. But yeah, so to start off everything, am I right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are like you don't even bother. <laughs> you both just like looking away when I'm speaking. It's you. No, no, no. No, but I, uh, yeah, so as, as I'm going to start it off and everything, because it's uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, I want to ask mm-hmm. you guys how you guys are doing, like really doing, especially as Brit- that people in Britain and everything, when we say, are you all right? We don't really care for the response, if we're being quite honest. So I want to ask how you guys doing, but like with a genuine answer. Are you okay? Could you be better? So on and so forth. So... Tiwa, Tom, whoever wants to start off, how are you doing? How are you really Tiwa, doing? Tiwa, Tiwa, go first. Okay, so personally, <laughs> I'm actually doing all right, to be honest. I feel like I've had the days of, um, like, a few weeks ago where I just thought, uh, I'm not doing too bad. But I feel like, because recently I've just started reading my Bible more, and like, when I feel a bit anxious about something, it kind of just calms me down, and it's just like, there's nothing for you to be anxious about. So... Lately, I've been in, like, a good mindset. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's been a lot better than what I've been previously. So it's like, I kind of accept that better than anything else. So I'm, I'm actually doing all right. I'm just going with the flow, taking things as a problem and only dealing with what I know I can deal with and not trying to think of things I can't deal with, that kind of thing. But, yeah. Yeah. Tom? That's good. Speak to him. Um, I, well, firstly, my body hurts because of the gym. So actually, like, <laughs> I can't like this handle can't this go straight. Well, is this your first? Is this your first day back? Or yeah, yesterday was the first day back. Oh is my it, god, yeah. it was peak. It was peak. You know when you pick up certain, you pick up a weight that you used to be able to pick, and the weight says to you, "Yo, right. bro, no. take it easy. <laughs> Put it down. Put me down. Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and in terms of like my mind. I think there's a lot of work 
that I'm involved in right now, I'm managing like quite a lot of things from two of my own TV shows that I'm getting off the ground and then I'm filming a yeah, drama yeah, yeah. and life is still going on. And yeah. I've been I've ha- been having to rejig and just have a schedule and a calendar and because it's yeah. like every <laughs> Serious day. Stuff. Huh? Serious stuff. <laughs> yeah. So it's just been like mm. I felt a bit overwhelmed. And it's only now it's I'm getting on top of it. Um apart from that, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this period, man. Cause I I moved into a house not too long, into this house not too long ago. So I'm still enjoying my my space. So that's me, yeah. How are you? Me. Yes. I'm all right. <clears throat> I'm I'm exhausted. I just started my nursing job um okay. recently newly qualified so back to doing this 12 hour work after like eight months off wow. full-time work is just it's tough yeah it's tough wow. so my body's still adapting to all of that every time I come back from a shift I'm absolutely knackered but I'm grateful regardless um for getting there and being able to do what I want to do but yeah other than that I'm relatively fine no cause of concerns family's all good so can't really complain in it that's amazing, man. It's really good. Congrats on your new job, man. Thank you, thank you. I'm ha- I'm grateful, but all these long hours, it's not for me, man. It's not for me. Hmm. Got to earn that money somehow. It's not for me. You better start it's putting true. some of that that money into into some some stocks and shares and some crypto. Listen, uh, listen. So I can start with... growing. I can stay at home and not do anything, bro. <laughs> I need that passive income. I need that passive income. All this long, hard work, it's not for me. I'm not made for it. I'm not made for it. (laughs) I'm not made for it. That's sick, though. What? You're a nurse and and you've got your own podcast. That's proper cool, bro. (laughs) I think that's sick. T, T, (laughs) what what do you do for work? I'm a fitness instructor. You're a PT? (laughs) A fitness instructor. I'm, I didn't do my level three. <laughs> Let's stop there. Wait, there's a difference between a PT and a fitness instructor. A fitness, I can do a bit of both, but I technically don't have the qualification for a PT. Oh, okay. So what does a fitness instructor instruct you to do? To so stay we fit? We can give like a full... <laughs> no, I'm trying to get a difference. No, we can do that. So basically, with a PT, they give you more like the nutrition, nutrition base and like they go into depth and stuff with you. Whereas fitness instructor are way on the surface level so we can give you like a basic induction we can write you a six-week program but we can't follow you and monitor you step by step and track your growth okay yeah okay are you trying to level up to a pt yeah no i'm good <laughs> your face is with bare straight no i'm good <laughs> no i'm good still i don't think it's for me per se i'm no, good the qualification <laughs> because it's like it was offered in uni and it was free so i said why not but yeah, I don't think it's for me. Okay. So what's for you then? Um, we'll find out. <laughs> you don't know yet. No, I'm looking into doing a master's in um, teaching. <laughs> okay. See how that goes. For now, that's what I said. For now, I'm just going to flow. I work at Better Gym, customer service, and do fitness instructing. So I'll just do that for now, and then see how it goes from September to be fair. Cool. I hope that goes well, man. Thanks. Y'all, y'all killing it, man. Y'all doing your thing. We're trying That's to pretty cool. Trying. We're trying. We have big people like you, though. We're trying. trying. We're trying. <laughs> no. Obviously, no come on. <laughs> have your own TVs and own shows, own films. That's what I'm trying to do, bro. Can you imagine? How did you even get into oh, it? I say that now, but I'm not creative like that. <laughs> I, ain't got, I ain't got the thought process like that to sit down and come you, up with a whole you've, you've script got, of stuff. You've got a podcast. That's that you amazing. tell riddles and and thing at the, and and fun facts at the beginning, and someone had to think of that and be creative. Someone has to create the logo and all of that. You can't say you're not creative. You can't. You actually we can't. Do, we do a little one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you get into what you're doing now? Like the level you're at now, you're going into more acting, right? Yes, yeah, been more more acting and writing at the moment. Yeah. How did you? Why did you change from like doing the comedian stuff and stuff like that to more? Well, you were kind of in the, in the same thing, but you've just focused on more, one more now. Um, I think the well, f- firstly, it was it was God that said that He feels like 
my online persona, I used to call myself Tommy Expensive. Don't even ask why. <laughs> but, why? <laughs> oh, why. God. <laughs> now, now we I have to dig all my answers it. deep down into Southwest Africa to get these answers for you. <laughs> He's not letting that go. He's not letting that go. <laughs> Oh um, no, nah. so it, it, it was a bad time in my life. I used to do stupid things. It's, uh, trust me, it's, it's not worth it. But, um, <laughs> but do you have do you ever speak about it? Like in terms of like, because people look into things like that and like get motivation from it and things like that. Do you speak about it, especially? Since- I was on the I was on the wrong side of the law. That's why my name was Tommy Expensive. Uh, we I used to like expensive oh, things. Yeah. Yeah. And by any means necessary, huh? Yes, yes. To a certain extent. To a certain, to a extent. certain extent. Yes. yes. <laughs> that, that's that's what's going on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. But we're not there anymore, are we? Nah, we're nowhere near. Yeah. Nowhere near. Fact, and God. yeah, amen. And yeah, God said to me that um, that He said Tommy expensive was um. If you come, if you put it to biblical context, he was he was John the Baptist. He, John the Baptist came forth. He laid all the foundations, you know, baptism. He kept speaking about the promise. The promise is coming. I'm not the real deal. I may be telling you all mm-hmm. these things, mm-hmm. but I'm not the real deal. Mm-hmm. The promise is coming. So they called John Baptist the forerunner. But then when Jesus came, the promise. They didn't actually get to do any work together because he died. So God said to me that Tommy Expensive was your John the Baptist. You met everybody you needed to meet. You made you you built a foundation. But now the actor, the promise I gave you in your heart to be an actor, Tom Mucci, is going to take the stage. So you have to cut ties with it. So that's essentially what kind of made me just say, hey. I was already feeling like I can't be making these videos till I'm 30. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I had dreams to level up and then God just came and matched me and said, yeah, go that way, son. That's kind That's of how amazing. it happened. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> so, you, know, you speaking... Huh? Nothing, nothing. I'm going to repeat what you're saying. <laughs> but hearing you speaking about God, I can only assume that you are a man of faith, a strong man of faith. Uh, you know, I've never heard someone say I'm a strong man of faith. <laughs> Do you know, it's like... because I personally, no, personally, I like to use the word religious because I always deem like, I get... religious being very political. Like it's not about a lot of time religion is not really yeah. about the faith and about the relationship with God. So that's why I always shy away from that word because I don't I get, deem I it to be, mean. be within God or anything. I completely get what you mean. Um. Yeah. I I am a Jesus follower. Um, <laughs> I believe in Jesus, and I do everything in my power to follow Jesus, Jesus and His dad. And, and His dad, um, <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah, and um, yeah, faith is one of my strong points. It's it's it's, it's changed my whole life, and. I aim to get more faith and continue to renew it every day. But even though, you know, I've heard stuff like, you know, God, you know, when you go to get these prophecies, they'll be like, God said you're going to be a strong man of faith. Right, right. And I'm right. just like, yeah, I'm never going to say that about myself because it just, like, right. do you know what I'm trying to say? So it's nice to hear you say that because that might be the impression that you get when I speak. But yeah, I believe God to the best of my ability, yeah. That's nice, that's nice. What I was going to say is like, what I've noticed is like, you speak about it very boldly. A lot of like, in terms of like, a lot of like, I say young men slash younger guys in generation, they don't like to speak about things and like, they don't speak with confidence. Like, the way you've spoken about God with so much confidence, like, that's your belief, your strong. Like, they speak about it, but they touch bases with it. They don't really, because there's like this kind of fear that they're going to get judged by the boys or they're still putting like this persona that this is who I am. but really and honestly this is who they're trying to be so in that aspect mm. bringing it back to that like, mental health base like because a lot i feel like person like in terms of like younger guys and like i say black men's per se they don't really like mm-hmm. to talk 
they put on a show yeah. was like I, would you say you've experienced such how did you come to the stage of where this is who I am like I'll, I'll say that because I know a few people might say things like are you sure or might have doubt you or might be like why or that kind of thing um I think when I, for example, when I wanted to be an actor or to get into anything acting before I even started the online content, um, I had like a, like a covenant with God. I said that if he brings everyone I need in my life um, to help me towards this goal of being an actor, I'll give my whole life to him. And all the people he's brought, there's been three main people. My mentor, Lord Michael Hastings, my friend Bola, who taught me how to write, and my um, friend Paul, who taught me Jesus, like he taught me mm-hmm. who Jesus is. And all three of those people are very instrumental in my life in terms of speaking and talking as a man. Like Mike taught me vulnerability and being trans, being transparent. So as in, like the, the enemy operates in shame. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when you... I remember I went on a long drive with one of my uncles and this, he's the, kind of the first person to talk to me about Jesus. He's like, ah, oh, do you believe in Jesus? And I said, yeah, I do, but I keep doing bad stuff. So I kind of, mm-hmm. I run away a bit. Mm-hmm. And he told me, how are you with your father? Are you cool with, with your actually, your earthly father? He said, no, I want to in a good place. And he was like, your relationship with your earthly father reflects your relationship with your heavenly one. I was like, wow, that's mad. I've never oh I've never heard that before. Yeah. When I do something wrong with God, I shy away. When I do something yeah. wrong with my dad, I avoid him. Mm. And yeah. shame is something that the, the, the enemy operates in. So when you, for example, someone could find God and they're in love for God, they're on fire. They haven't dealt, for example, with... Um, their lust, but they're telling everybody, you need to come to God, God loves you, blah, blah, blah. And then they so same people they were preaching to will see him in the club. Yeah. Like going wild. He's on a journey to God. But yeah, the people yeah. that don't understand that, they're gonna judge him. Yeah. They're gonna mm. say, Oh, you told me about God, but you're in the club. But well, what makes you better than me? Right. And then that's when shame comes in. So the people that kind of God brought in my life, they've been able to just remove all of that from me. Like, yeah. like we set a place where, you know, we speak about anything, a, sp- a safe space, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've, I've just been like that. And the way kind of God made me is like, my friends say it to me all the time, once I decide something, nobody's going to stop me. <laughs> so I've decided that God... Um, Jesus and his dad are oh, my guys forever. <laughs> so I will speak on them boldly. Because if I'm ashamed of him, yeah. when it comes to my time that he has to claim me, he will be ashamed of me in front of his dad. So, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Yeah, I can't, <laughs> when the I, time comes and Tom's there, it will be like, I'm sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry bro. It's sorry, sorry bro. bro. I was knocking and you didn't let me in, bro. You're shameful. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I don't. I don't no, want I, that stress. That's 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 really good. I feel like when you touch the point on safe space, I think having that safe space is vital. Is extremely vital. Even myself, like I'm not the type of person that will go out and just speak on everything. But I know there's people in my life that will be more than willing to listen to. So having that per- person in your life and having that people that you can go to is very important mentally extremely important so i'm grateful that you have that people and have that safe space you can talk to people oh, that's God. i didn't even know that i needed those things 100 percent. i told him to bring him bring them into my life so i can become an actor i had no idea what i was talking about <laughs> he bought people that were helping me release my insecurities and like he's truly like the the master plan guy in there. Yeah. He knows, he knows it. Hey! Who's, who's this? Tiwa, is this you? I don't know what you're talking Baby about. Baby Tiwa, please pick up. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You've been burying me for nine days. Hello, are you dead? 
Hello, please. I didn't know he's in I didn't see you at church. <laughs> Are you not picking up? I don't know what you're talking about because I don't know. I don't owe no one money for them to bury my line off like that. But okay, no, clearly you, you it's, owe it's, the, money. it's your man, fam. We've been cutting for ninety eight days. <laughs> when will you marry? <laughs> oh my! I have the God. money for you. I've got the bride money. The bride prize. Why are you actually doing this with him? Why? He's gonna call again. Don't worry. Um, what? No, let me I know his name is Andre. Uh, his but name is Andre. Who, who's, what, what police officer is calling you? What warrant do you have for your arrest that they're calling you, bro? I have no idea. Oh, it's not even a boyfriend. What? You're you're, you're a banger. <laughs> No, it's, you, probably, no, it's, probably one that, no, it's probably one of them. You see them one, one of them fraudsters, them HMRC fraudsters that are calling you. You have a warrant up for your arrest. They're 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 taxes. <laughs> they'll be, them they'll be taxes. messaging people that don't even pay tax. <laughs> Can you imagine? Every second, one phone call here, one phone call there. Hey, funny Every... enough, they got my dad, you know. You're lying. You're lying. They got my dad, like I, I, no fam. Our I, parents don't, they're not. They don't on Twitter. They don't see, you know, what someone would post like, <laughs> no. "Hey guys, don't ignore this this message." Blah blah. blah it's a scam. He clicked on it because it said something about, "Oh, there's something wrong with your HSBC account." He clicked it. They cleared him of yeah. like sixty grand. Does he have your HSBC account? That's actually yeah, he does. They cleared sixty grand. He got it back now after like a month. That was a long dispute about it and. Maybe. All the money, like was, they took a loan out 60 on his bags. account, they took no. 60 bags. Wait. So, please, Tiwa, if it's them, don't Listen, pick. My mom actually got a text here, she started panicking. She was like, Oh, I owe money. Do, 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 do. So, she showed me, I said, This is the text. <laughs> I said, This is the text. Can we have a look at it properly? She's called my dad, she's like, Oh, I owe money. I, owe. I said, What money do you owe? Can I see this text? I said, Don't reply, don't even open it, don't reply. Just delete. She said, Are you sure? I said, You're fine. Because she didn't, she wasn't aware, but I was quite surprised. But no, it's not one of them people. Elena's happened. It won't be long wow. before it's in their their WhatsApp circulation. Yes, I was about to say that. Yeah. You, you be careful broadcast. with this message. They're coming for my money. <laughs> the devil is a liar. Come and get The devil was definitely. That's what they would say at the end. The devil is a liar. <laughs> the devil is a liar. <laughs> the no. right no, but them scammers. They always find a new way to collect money from this people. Point they're bored because. They've lost all creativity to come. I got scammed recently. Hurt me so much. I couldn't even get the money back. How? <laughs> what were you trying to get? So, I've been scammed a couple of times. Same, 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 same. <laughs> there was a, a, a brunch called DLT. Um, so the people sorted me out with tickets. I was originally like supposed to get like six tickets for me and my friends, but they only went down to two. And I already promised them that they can come with me for okay. free. So I said, cool, let me go online and try to see if anyone is selling them. Found this girl, said her and her cousins have four. Cool, I send the money. And she sent it back, saying, no, 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 wrong account. Can you send it to this one? So if someone sends you back the money, you're not thinking they're trying to scam yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 yeah, right, right. Exactly, right. so send it to the right account. Account blocks me. Oh, it was peak still. I had to call my bank, but the way she made me do it on PayPal, you can't get it back. Basically. But you know, you win some, you lose some, but I know God's going to give me uh, one million, one million pound in crypto one day. So, amen. Like, Ibo claim it. Amen. 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 Did you say Ibo No. I said, said we proclaim it. She didn't say that. Oh my God. That's <laughs> what I was saying. Amen. Boy. I was like, what? What? <laughs> But, yeah. People claim it now, but I feel like that's for people to scam me. That's so ill-hearted, bro. Like, hey, I just wanted. To... Let me tell you what scammers say. They say they will get their money back. That is like the the slogan when people start to feel yeah. when they groom people into fraud, and then they say, "Ah," oh, and they're like, "Oh no, this is bad." They're like, "No, Visa will give them their money back. It's fine." And then that's well, it. They erupt in. Yeah, but it's not the case all the time, though. It is. Well, every if, single time you get your money back. If I wake up today and money's left my account, I don't know. Once I contact that fraud thing, I say, this is not mine. They'll block the account it's and then we'll get my money back. That's true. There was one time I went on my account and I saw £500 gone from ASOS. I said, £500 from ASOS? ASOS? 
<laughs> what are you Asos. buying in there? Listen, I, so I thought well, I, I went on my Asus account. Listen, I went on my Asus account. I was like, what did I buy for 500? What am I buying for 500 pounds? I'm looking, nothing. I called up my bank. I said, hey, 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 someone stole my money. I said, hey, hey, I need my money back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Money. My boy, nah, this one is funny. It's like when he told me this story, this is how I knew he was rich, yeah. He said, <laughs> for like a year, and this is because he checked his statements. For, for like a year, 50 pounds will come out every month from Fenty Beauty. <laughs> ah. Somebody girlfriends every month is it's when one, one, one of his girlfriends. No, he's, he's, like, upset. he's in a committed pound a month. He's in a committed relationship, like, and somebody is just taking like fifty pounds every month. Same day, same time, every month. This yeah, is yeah, direct. Yeah. Debit. Like, you know, direct. Direct. Debit. direct. You know, to notice. For a year, you didn't know his fifty pound was coming out. For a year, exactly. I will notice. I will notice if it's five pound missing from my account. I will notice it's five. You that, like, hey, that hey, hey, hey. took five hundred. You wouldn't notice, bro. <laughs> no, no. When I checked, I had to. When I checked, I was. I saw ASOS five hundred pound. I said, I do not spend that much money on ASOS. Could never be me. Hmm. I had to literally call them up and tell them, yeah. Can I have my money back, please? It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. It's up. Oh, no, it's up, it's up. Let alone 50 <laughs> It's up, it's up like that. I said 5p. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? 5p. 5p. I will notice 5p. No, you wouldn't. Right yes, I will. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, you definitely no, probably will not notice, notice 5p. 5p. I will man. notice 5p. This is how, listen, yeah. You don't check, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't check to your 5p. account that often to notice 5p. Listen, I'll notice it. I probably I'll be looking at you. I'll just be like, something's not adding up. Like I move money in different accounts, so I'll notice it. <laughs> my money's not always in one. Is in wow. every, I will notice it. It's just it's not it's not gonna work. What fifty? Fair wow. Fair someone said fifty for a year, or he hurt someone. That's six hundred pound gone. <laughs> did he get it back? No. Yeah. How long did it take? You, how long did it take you to calculate that? <laughs> that, 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 that? Don't do that. It was seconds. <laughs> Seconds, yeah. How long did it take you to when Seconds. did you start calculating? <laughs> as soon as I said it, like one all second right. before I said it, I calculated it. All right, all right. Are you guys good at maths? I'm all right, yeah. Don't lie. I'm not bad. Well, I'm not bad. you will notice when five P is missing, so you have to be good at maths. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the best, but I'm all right. <laughs> because I realized, yeah, apart from counting money or minusing or when you're trying to budget. Everything you learn in maths, like proportions and fractions, yeah. how often are you using that? I, in my workplace, I know I'm not. No, but you, you you still use percentages and stuff like that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, but that's... For me now, that's tax. It's like, I know when I get this, this percentage is going to be gone straight. That's it. I'm not out in the meat shop. No. Like... Yeah. Calculating the Pythagoras Ta- theorem. Tennis so tennis how much, tennis how tennis much tennis. oxtail I'm gonna? It's just, it's just not working out. No, but it's true. It was definitely, it was definitely pointless. I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed maths. You enjoyed maths. I, yeah, I even went on to try to do it for A levels, but I stopped after first year. Yeah, it was too much. A, a, a level maths was. Big. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that. Yeah. That that yeah, that was like, that was kind of course. Game. That was actually an experience. <laughs> No, it was. I'm glad I did it, but it was I, an exp- like after after it took it takes up your whole time. Maths takes up your whole too. time. The amount of shit you have to do, it was horrible. When I knew maths, A level maths was peak. Yeah, <laughs> you know you think maths <laughs> and that is like numbers. There's a bit of maths called decision maths. Yeah, where listen, <laughs> they ask you a question <laughs> that has nothing to do with numbers, bro. You have to answer with with theory, just like writing. Like they right. say, like um, the theorem of this and the relativity of something, something, something. You will write a whole paragraph, like a whole page, and calculate for three more pages. Why am I doing that? <laughs> and if I get it one maps, thing wrong, is this an English essay? <laughs> nah, man. I was good at English though. 
That what, was did me. You, did you go? Did you do that? Did you finish the A level maths? That like the whole thing, the two years. Oh, oh um, I, I dropped out of um of college, oh. and I got kicked out of college. Oh. Then I went to another college. Then I failed there. Then they gave me another chance, but only in B tech. And then I passed B tech. Then I went to uni to study drama. Then I dropped out. Then I started Tommy Expensive. <laughs> That's what happened. Well, it clearly has worked out one way or the other. Well, I just, it just wasn't my route, innit? And I guess. Yeah, it's, it's not now. Nah. I always say, you, all that education, if it's not for you, don't force it. Yeah. Hey, edu- I, think, education I, I think up to important. a certain level, though. Up to yeah, a certain level. Like you have to at least finish college. With uni, it's like, okay, cool. But like, if you finish college and kind of have like the direction you want to go to without it needing uni and you still want to do something, I'm fine with that. <laughs> and the thing is, yeah. It's not even like I didn't, like, I wasn't, like, I was academic. I wasn't, like, I just definitely didn't apply myself. My my head was in the wrong things, like, like, when I finally got into uni, it was to study actuarial science. Like, actual, that's what I was What's living. actuarial science? You know what I mean? I looked at him like, huh? It's like, it's like, it's like science and maths, isn't it? But then you can use it to become an actuary or an accountant or, it's a study of science mm. and maths together. And I just didn't see myself doing that. I just didn't see myself sitting down and so. And I, I was kind of following what my friends were doing because my friends were like maths heads. And I thought, yeah, why not? But um, it didn't work out. And uh, <laughs> now I'm here, and I'm fun employed, which is one of the bless the the blessings of my life. Like I'm fun employed. I have fun, and. There's hard bits, but I, I enjoy my job. Like, it doesn't feel like a job. I don't see you ever going back to working for someone, especially being like able to work for yourself in a way. Do you know what? It's not even about working. Being able to wake up when I want. That That is something. Because <laughs> I worked in Costa, innit? Yeah. In, in, I worked in Greenwich Costa. Oh, my God. <laughs> when you have to open that coffee shop. What time did you have to It opens at six, so I'm up at five to get there at 5.45. And then you see all these business people running. It's like, can I have a skinny decaf mocha latte with three pumps of of syrup, caramel? (laughs) And can I have a mojito? It's just like, Jesus Christ, in the morning. And then there's nine of them. There's nine of them in a row. And your manager's upstairs and you have to do it by yourself. Never again, man. No, Never again. No, yeah, this this employ, employ for the government at work, that's not for me either, man. It's too hard. It's too hard to make money. Having to get up at You just sound like every African mom <laughs> that ever existed. Oh, I have to do this cleaning. This cleaning job. And then I have to go back home and I rest and I wake up as sis because I need to be seen as King, King, King's, King's Hospital. I mean, no. Ew. Making money is hard, though. That's exactly what you just had that whole spirit. It is. It is. It's not easy. It is. But we try. We have to. But hey, ho. Doing it. If you want to live good life, you got to put the work in. Oh, you just marry rich. I always say just marry rich. <laughs> marriage. Did you just marry say rich. marriage? Marry rich. Marry rich, yes. Wow. <laughs> so you're going to marry a rich man and then that's it? Listen. Look at this life that's that it, you, that's you it. would live here. Yeah? Do you ever think a man <laughs> can say, I'm, I'm going to marry rich? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? For a man to say he's gonna marry a rich woman and then that will kind of save his life as a man. There's yeah, but that's 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 on you. That's what you've put on yourself as a man. <laughs> There's plenty of women out no, here that be more not, than happy to take care of a man. There Wait, is there. it's not it's not what we put on ourselves. Mm. If you look at society, no, today, you, just yeah. said, you literally just said as a man. As and right, it's, cool. If you want to marry rich, you should marry rich. Since you want to go there, we're gonna go there. <laughs> Let's go there. Let's go there. 
the book that Jesus and his dad want us all to follow, yeah? yeah. <laughs> that book, the first thing that Jesus' dad told Adam to do was name the animals. You've seen how many animals there are in this planet. That was <laughs> very hard work. And I don't think he did that in the day. Yes. No, the I don't first think thing he gave was work. Then the second gave thing he gave after when he realized that we couldn't be alone was a helper, which was a woman. That is what Jesus' dad did. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. society yeah. where we are today, if you take it a bit back to like when there wasn't money or when there wasn't when there used to be a trading system. So before, like when we were Neanderthals, yeah, we'll be like, I'll give you this bone if you give me that chair swap. Uh, I'll give you this yeah, yeah, plot yeah, yeah. of rice if you give there, me... There was, there was no capitalism in a sense. There was no capitalism. And then in that... in But <laughs> men and women were still linking up. And the way it used to be before was who's the strongest yeah. man? It was strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in what society we're in right now, it's not strength. Strength is um, linked to power. Power is linked to money. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the system mm-hmm. that it is we're in right now, which is money is power. More money you have, literally, literally, that is where men's value is. How much money you have first before who you are as a person. So if you, I'm not, I'm, I'm, and this is society. I'm not saying biblical or um, dad's book. In the world that we're in right now, if you take away a man's um, ability to have work or money, he's he's got no value. A woman could get up, have no work, be broke, but she looks good, and she'll get a rich man. Yeah, but that that but value and that, that thing, but that came from. But where did that come from? That come from other men putting putting it into into no, place. No, we didn't. All right, really. Con- like, because it's it's but it's come to a point where, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying that money equals power because, but I feel like it's more because when you have more money, you can do more things, in that sense. Okay. So the reason so, why but there's plenty, there's plenty of now that like, a man. Stay, stay at home, dad's not making money, the woman's making money. That, that can happen now. That's 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 not even what your your bio biologically if you if we take the framework of marriage, yeah, that Jesus' dad created, yeah, it is God, <laughs> the man leads the household, the woman incubates the home, and then the children. That is the hierarchy that God created, yeah. And if when both the man and the woman get closer to God, ultimately they get close to each other. Now, when the curse happened, when they got kicked out of Eden, yeah? Do you remember the curses? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the man's yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Give me the man's one. The man's one? Yeah, what was the... What, what Dude, was, that's, what that's, was that's, Well, he's, he's going to have to... I don't know. That's work better. That's work harder. He has to. Uh-huh. He has <laughs> to work. He has to. So biblically, yeah. like God made this earth for us to be like for it to be a breeze. So that so and women was yeah, 100%. you lot got cursed with birth pains. We got cursed that we have to sweat, toil the earth to put food on the table. Mm-hmm. So yeah. when you're talking about a man that is a stay-at-home dad, he's literally going against his nature. He's going against what he was built for. It's, he, he will feel emasculated every day. He's not, the, we're not incubators. We don't, like, women, when you, wherever you give to them, they give you back something. You give a woman a seed, she'll give you a baby. You give a woman a home, and a house, she'll give you a home. Like, men are not that, we go out. And we get provisions and we bring them that that's literally in our in our in our like what's the word in our wiring. It's just today, the world of today, we're in a place where men have messed up a lot of stuff. Um with women, women have messed up a lot of stuff. So women now are taking men's place, men are taking women's place, and it's like 
I'm gonna see y'all in heaven. I don't know what this place is no more. No. So if you if you got into a marriage, would you make it like would you be the sole breadwinner or would it be a joint thing? Okay, you know, sole breadwinner, yeah. Your wife will make money because she will have a job. Like we're not in in like 1920 where women are just supposed to stay at home and they were fighting for equality to just uh, let me have a job as well we're not in that place women are working women are independent but we're in a world where um you will hear like um some women say i don't need a man i can do this by myself blah blah, blah, blah. but then but they want to be hugged they want to be cradled <laughs> they want they want someone to look after them and treat them nice but i'm independent though <laughs> so it's like when I think about the marriage of course I, I'm going to take that role because yeah. that's what I'm built to do I'm going to luckily I'm as um, Kevin Samuel says I'm a, I'm a um, don't, don't, don't bring <laughs> right. you know what I mean? said, oh, <laughs> don't bring Kevin Samuel I said, oh, God. no don't do that you were going, no. I was, you're saying God this God that I was like you know now I'm listening I'm listening now you brought Kevin Samuels you must be no. According, yeah, according to him. Kevin Samuels, You've lost I'm, a high, him. I'm a high value man. Oh, yeah, according to according to, to, to Kevin Samuels. So I'm blessed enough to like make a decent amount of money. If my wife is not making more or she's making below, I'm not why would I go halves with her? If she can chip in on certain things or we split the roles or we we handle certain things, it's like it's teamwork, isn't it? It's not like I'm going to take everything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a man. Oh, mm -hmm. ah. Like, I have a friend who, he's got a pot. Um, when they both get paid, it goes into that pot. He takes an allowance of it and gives it to his wife. That's her allowance. She does what the hell she wants with it. He does not ask. He pays the bills with the rest. Blah, 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 and then he gives himself a little something. And then there's the saving money. Yeah. And when I think about that system, it's like, yeah, cool. That's fine. No, but wait. because it's not a, it's not it's not a half half system because when they all put in, a she gets a you know what? That's what I'm getting. No. It's the whole. I, I get the money going into one account and stuff, but mm -hmm. the whole allowance room. I think the I think you're you're bugged up on the wording. So he wants to make sure his wife has money to do whatever <laughs> she wants to do. Okay. And it's both of their money. Okay. So. Even I think there's a pastor called Michael Todd. Yeah, yeah. He like he even says it. He gives his wife like I don't know what you want to call it, but stuff to spoil herself. Yeah. Like money, like a pot aside that is yeah. just her money, so that she ain't she doesn't have to like worry about money. Everything else is sorted out. So I think that's the same system he's adopted. By allowance, it just means it goes straight into her account, like it's her pot. Allowance is just a word. It's not like I have allowed I you to enjoy yourself. I don't mind money. But that's something I, I want to. I, I definitely want to do. Well, like, I, wanna... I was a bit, I'm a bit devil, devil advocate. But the only reason why I said allowance was because like we both worked for. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little two things here. It's not what you said. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna add a little bit. You said something mm -hmm. about allowance, like okay, cool. But in this money, we both worked for it. So yeah, the money you give me, it's not like you give me an allowance from your money technically it's our money i get your mm -hmm. house bill whatever the situation is but if you've given me an allowance been never have gate hair give me an allowance less than what i've made or what you think but sometimes what you're giving me is not actually what i need ain't that a bit wait you know it's not the man that decides the allowance right okay. they do no, this but together you said he just gives it that's what i was thinking if yeah all right it, it, so okay, that's different so and this this is the world we're in. But the way you said it, you said he gives an allowance and he's like, yeah, he's he's like, like... And it... see, well what the world we're in, you gotta watch every word you say because it's gonna seem like man is trying to do something wrong to woman. They are in a committed, they are engaged. No, 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 so that's pay... not what that's what we're putting. We're just saying it just sounded like the guy, the guy you said... was the one that's controlling yeah. in, in yep, and okay. out of the he, account. He so, controls... so then she she thought that you, know, you said. 
her system's lagging, but okay, cool. Yeah, no, yeah. So she so she thought that um the man was the one I was saying, I'm gonna give you this money. Yeah, take this money, yeah. enjoy no, it. He, and that's it. In in their system, he's he controls the finances. In terms of financing in their life, mm-hmm. she's like he's he's better at her than he does it. It's it's if it's part of his work in life so he takes the whole household's finances he's like okay cool this is how much our bills cost blah blah, blah, blah. this is how much we want to save because this is our goal out of that um this is the money we have left i think you should just like keep that for anything that you need to do that's literally how it is okay that makes sense whether it's him who gives it or blah, blah 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 it's not like when you say oh if I'm getting less than I made, it's like you're still in a, you still have plans to save for a house, you still have mm-hmm. bills to pay, so you were going to lose that money anyway. No, 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 I heard that, but it was just mm-hmm. the way, I feel like it was more of the word, I just wanted to play devil advocate and like see. It's allowance that you have problem with, that's what it is, just say it as it <laughs> is. Mean, you don't want to like, feel like a man is allowed to me, I'm not, I'm not against I'm allowance. Not allowance. We don't even allow like, I'm not against allowance. allowance. Give me allowance. No, I'm not against it at all. Like the way you said it, like at the end they were a team. It's not just me and you. At the end they were a team. So I'm not against it at all. Hey, Mill said, give me a laugh. <laughs> She's just not trying to work full stop. <laughs> no, but yes, I'll a question. That's like how I would I would do things like I like, yeah, babe, here's your pot. I uh, top that pot every month. Go and enjoy yourself. That's take it. I'm I'm down with that. Nothing but if, me. If my wife is happy, then I'm happy. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Energy. I was about to the same thing. So marriage is an interesting one, boy. We're in a place yeah. where 50% of marriages end in a divorce. divorce. Yeah. That's the statistic at the moment. Are you there? So why would anyone an uncle ask you when when you bring in a wife? Are you at that stage? My uncles. Aunties, uncles, family members. When you bring them up, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've uh, you're not gonna think I'm bad for this one. Yeah, I violate uncles and un- aunties so bad they don't they don't talk to me anymore. They don't because you know when you you grew up with them violently attacking you or violently like so Tom, what are you even doing with your life? Like <laughs> I've been hearing that, hearing that, and now like. I'm in a place where everything I believed has come true. Mm. When they try that, I load them. Oh my days. I give it right back to them. Because I'm of age now. <laughs> I pay my own bill. If you try no, to load I'd me, to I will load it. you, bro. I'd love to see so, it. So you say to me, Oh, when is the kid coming? <laughs> uh, when are you gonna get remarried? <laughs> like, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you right back. I'm not having it no more. They love it, bro. Exactly. You should worry about the other kid you have with the other wife back in. Back yeah, in, back in, back bro. Home. Don't worry about my, the kids I'm going to get. Hiding your thing before you have to come and come and ask me questions about my own body. <laughs> exactly. That's what I understand. Exactly. I love to get uh, no, into business. <laughs> That's them. You uh, you gotta love them for it. They're still Thank funny. You, yeah. I had an auntie. All she did was kept telling me. She didn't tell me. Uh, I want you to get a girlfriend. Uh, when you get, she just came. She just always reminds me. You know, I have condoms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just you just let me know. Yeah, I have. They're here. Anytime. Because you're not using it. Yeah, do you get what I'm trying to say? So, te- deep deep the layers of what she's saying. She's like, I know you're you're of age to be having sex. Yeah. It has to be protected. So. <laughs> No kids everywhere. I have yeah. them in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> She's looking out for you. She's looking she out for really you. What, what's funny is she does it when my mum is like gone to the kitchen. She's like, <laughs> so she does it like a secretive thing. She's like, it's in my bag. Yeah. She, she, she you don't want to say this. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, at the time when she was saying it, I wasn't even like anywhere near anything sexual in my life. So it was like, it was just yeah. funny. It was like, but now I kind of understand, as a grown man, I understand what of she course. was talking about. Of course. And yeah. that was probably the best auntie. Yeah, that was, she, I was about to say that. It's like, yeah. just kind of people. Cause she knows you got that age. She knows yeah. things are going to happen. So it's best way, instead of trying to condemn it, it's best to be like, you know what? You're going to mm. do it. 
be protected, you know? Don't come back they, with, with unwanted been, uh, kids. <laughs> they've been teenagers before, so they're not again. Exactly, exactly. These these aunties and uncles that act, act, act how holy than thou, but we all know, hey, you're the freaks of the whole street. The, the, so the freak of the week. Literally. Ah. <laughs> every week of every month, so let's please. <laughs> Sister, please. Gonna wrap it up and bring. Gonna ask a question and say, if you have, if you don't have one, it's understandable because we don't want to put you on the spot. Mm-hmm. What have you seen in terms of Christ or biblical that stood out to you this week? Like it could be a Bible verse, a prayer, or anything that you think that just stuck with you this week. This week, yeah. I but don't think. Yeah. It would be today and just before I got on the phone Mm -hmm. and it's sick because it's God is in everything in it. Like even in people try to separate general knowledge or like Christians think they have the right to think everything is in the Bible, but everything else outside the Bible, God also created. So some people, that's why they say atheists are more intelligent than Christians because they'll learn everything about the world. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And they'll have no yeah. fear because ignorance is yeah. bliss. But Christians will be like, no, I'm just waiting for God. That's it. Focusing, <laughs> focusing, focusing, focusing. And they're not, they're not going out and experiencing the world. And what I saw it was from J. Cole. So J. Cole is, is about to release an album called Off Season. Mm-hmm. And he just released mm-hmm. a 12 minute documentary about how when he was broke and he finally made it as a rapper and he was rich, he got comfortable. He, his mm. lifestyle was swish. And he said that is even harder than grinding because you now have to get this motivation from somewhere else. You're not living the hard life anymore. Right, and he right, said, right, right. the title of the documentary is Comfort is the Enemy. And I was just looking at that, I was thinking, raw. every time I've grown, it's been when I've been d- uncomfortable. Mm. It's been mm. in discomfort. Every time I've been comfortable is when I've been like, oh, damn, like, you know, I'm not seeking the things of God. I'm not moving. I'm too comfortable. Or um, on my acting stuff, I've got too comfortable. I need to get back on the job, my ride. I need to. So I just thought like, raw, like, he may not have said it as a biblical thing, but that's hit me like on like a spiritual yeah. note. Like I know whenever I've grown anything in, in prosperity wise, it's always been in uncomfortability. God, like why why would everything just be comfortable? Mm-hmm. It's just, no one in the Bible, everybody in that book, oh my God. I had to struggle. Yeah, they've had a crazy actually. So that's kind of been my revelation of the week, if you want to say that. Okay. How about you, Malena? What have you seen? Um I feel like John, that's a free. (laughs) (laughs) God, I'm joking. I'm joking. Verse 51. (laughs) It says the blood. (laughs) God. (laughs) <laughs> of Jesus, we shall not fail. We shall always be successful. Never, we shall never, never lack out any hardship. We run the blood of Jesus. He never. shall get us through. He shall give us everything that we need. Amen. Amen. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I've been reading quite a bit of is like come going off a little bit what Tom said um about finding God in the hard times and understanding that our hard times are also from God, just as, as our good times are from God. Mm-hmm. We like to separate both of them and say, oh no, this hardship is from the enemies, from the devil, is from this. Yeah. But it's not always the case. Sometimes we have to understand that God does gives us these, these points where we have to be tested because we're always going to come out stronger than how we went in. So I always mm-hmm. believe that the hard times that, we are given is to strengthen us in that situation because you, if you like if you don't yeah go on. yeah no, go on, it's go. like if you put that, that idea of going to the gym if you don't go to the gym and suffer in the gym you won't come out stronger than yeah. how you came in before so it's yeah. understanding that 
if you put God into the hard times that you have, you definitely come out strong, whether it's emotionally, physically, spiritually, any type of way, um, is being grateful for those times, also as being grateful for the good times. So that's, that's what I've been reading quite a bit of. Do you know what's deep? According with what you said, even if you don't put God in the good times yeah. or the bad times, you're still going to come out however you're yeah. supposed to come out. Yeah. And the what you're speaking about right now, there's a sick parable on it, you know, called um, the parable of the wheat and the weed. Have you heard of it? No. So there, there, there was a farmer, yeah, that had a big famous farmer, not famous, rich farmer, and he had like servants. And his wheat, which is the good crop, was being like infested by the weed plant. Not the weed, not the ganja plant, but like Let's just say fawns in it. Yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. The servants ran to him and said, um, uh, Master, like the plants are corrupted. Shall we pull out the weeds so that you know we can maintain the wheat? And he's like, nah. Because the way the weed plant is, once yeah. you pull it out, it pulls out everything. Yeah, you pull it out has the to, yeah, yeah, yeah. The good plant has to grow with the bad plant. Yeah. And then yeah. when they are a certain place you use them that's both so yeah. that's essentially the parable that god uses both your good and your bad times for yeah. your for your good basically yeah 100 percent. go on t what what's happened this week for you so mine was quite a short one it was just reading and i caught on look 137 says for the word of god will never fail you and it's just like that Mad. to me like regardless of the situation as long as I'm thinking of him and as long as I've always got him there, going back to the good and bad, his words will never fail me as long as he's just there by my side, regardless of the situation. So, yeah. Man, that's that's short and powerful, though. The it, word it, of God will never fail you. That's, yeah. that's peak. peak. If you just stand on that alone, yeah, that will take you through the, the, the your whole life, bro. Literally. Literally. Anyway, girls, it's been nice, so it's, it's been nice been talking really to you, nice. girls. It's been... You've not been bad. You've not been bad. <laughs> <You've> been... <laughs> Why are you like this? It's been really it's been bad. It's been okay. It's been, it's been, it's been all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, go, I know a little wow. French. I know je ne parle pas français. I say it right. Wow, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> that was like so original. <laughs> yeah, that sounds. Where did you? Who? Who in Southwest Africa talking about? I hate this guy. I hate this guy. It's the way you done it. It's the way you done it. I haven't heard that one. Je ne parle pas français. No, but you know, I had wow. to actually use that in a situation. That's why. That's why it stuck in my head. I remember. What situation yeah. was that? We went last year, Feb, me and T, we went to Paris. So hmm. then we went out at night to some club, like some Jamaican type club, yeah? And then wow. we were chilling. Jamaican French club. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. What? It's a Caribbean. Yeah, they were playing soccer all night. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. All know. night. It was, yeah, it was there was, there was. Yeah, all night. It was a vibe. It was a vibe. It, was, it, was it a vibe. wasn't it was a club. Vibe. It was like it was more like a bar kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, small bar. Yeah, small bar type thing. Okay. It was a vibe. So we went there and then we left to go back to the hotel. <laughs> and then obviously these French guys, these these, these French guys just started following us. We're like, oh yeah, they're speaking French. If it's with you, we with TV we go with you. I'm just like <laughs> we don't we're just looking. Sorry, like, that impersonation of French is wild, you know. <laughs> you sound like a Pokemon, man. That's what that's <laughs> what, that's what it sounds to me. That's what it sounds to me. It's You're just boy, me. You're <laughs> boy. That's what they sound like. <laughs> we, we, so we, the we. guy was talking. So the guy was talking. <laughs> 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 that is so rude. At this point, we can make a tune out of it because <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, so then I just turned around and I said, Yeah. I don't I don't speak French. Je ne parle pas français. And then what and happened? Then like, did, they, 
Did they stop saying no, we? Then, 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 they just, then they started speaking English. He's like, no way, I speak English. <laughs> so you're a boy, it? You're trying to say they followed you saying, yes, 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 no, yes, 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 now, but we picked up what we picked up on. Yeah, but that's all we Which picked was... up. Like, yes, 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 Ah, me, it's me speak English, no, 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 I'm not English either. So, <laughs> wow, at this point, <laughs> at this point, but it was nice. Anyway, was right. Let me go and have some ice cream and then start my next work. Ah, uh, work don't stop. Well, oh, no, nice huh? Right there. I said it's been nice having you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You guys are really funny. What ice cream are you going to eat? Oh, this child. I've got a Magnum and oh, what's that other one called? Which one? Which one? I'm gonna have to actually, actually, I'm actually gonna go and look at it. Huh? No, Melania owes me a Berry. Yeah, that's besides the point. We're asking Tom. I'm just, I just, I just, I just remember because he said ice cream. I haven't I had, had a Ben and Jerry. So Give me a Ben and Jerry. Baby. I'm having this one. Whoa. That's not Magnum. <laughs> I said I have. I said I have a Magnum. Oh, oh, oh. But I'm going to see... That's it. Look at you, you're oh, ready you to load me, innit? <laughs> you're ready to load me, yeah? Like, no, because yeah, I, like I heard... No, I heard I'm going to have a Magnum, but I was going to say, that's not a Magnum, so... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I don't... I don't... I don't speak, um... No, Southwest no. African, so you can't... <laughs> Listen, yeah? That's why you're having I a hard time Southwest. understanding me. No, you do, you do, you do. You do. You 100% do, you do. Okay, what, like, you what do. language are you speaking in Southwest Africa? You tell me, bro. You're the one that knows exactly where it is. I don't speak language in Southwest Africa. Hmm. Anyway, guys, let me let you go. See you later. Thank you so much, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for God coming. God bless you. Nice day. God bless you too. No problem. You. Send me all the stuff when it's all ready and stuff, yeah? Will do. All right, love.